What's up Guardians, Profane here, thanks for checking out the video. Today we're going to be previewing the Devil's Ruin Exotic Sidearm. We're going to be breaking down the stats, the perks, and everything else that we currently know about the Devil's Ruin. Now this will be just the second exotic sidearm added into Destiny 2. The quest to get the Devil's Ruin will become available on January 7th. I did cover this in a previous video, but the Devil's Ruin quest steps have become available through data mined details, at least the first two steps, which actually have Guardians return back to Twilight Gap in search of fragments that will ultimately lead us to getting the Devil's Ruin. At this time, we don't have any further details on the remaining steps of the quest, but it does look like the Devil's Ruin will get its own catalyst that will most likely be involved in a continued quest through Saint-14 once getting the Devil's Ruin. The only available details to the actual catalyst itself is that you have to get 700 kills to complete the masterwork and give it its catalyst perks, which currently are unclear and again as is the actual process of getting the catalyst but we'll be sure to keep you guys posted as soon as those details and all of the details about the devil's ruin becomes available the thing that excites me the most is that the devil's ruin will be introducing some new and very interesting perks into the game that could very well make the devil's ruin the best weapon out of season of dawn even better than the symmetry and it all starts with its intrinsic perk called Close the Gap. So this one's description reads, Variable Trigger. Press and release to fire individual shots. Hold to charge up a high-powered, staggering laser. Strong against unstoppable champions. So just like Symmetry with its ability to swap over to a Revolution round instead of its normal Scout rounds, the Devil's Ruin will be able to swap from a single shot sidearm to a Fusion Rifle with a charge time of a thousand, which is the same as the thousand voices. So what you can expect to see out of this perk is that you can be firing the Devil's Ruin with its single shot rounds see a enemy that you're able to stagger hold that charge to deal out a essential massive shot that is a compound laser beam just like a fusion rifle would shoot ultimately the damage that that laser deals is based on how long you hold the charge the thousand charge time is its maximum releasing it earlier than that will still shoot the laser blast but if you hold it at its full time and release it at the end of its charge time you actually will proc its second main perk which is called pyrogenesis fully charging the laser refills the magazine from reserves now this gun gets a magazine size of 15 and it's presumed that these laser rounds will only take one bullet. Meaning that you could steadily fire this weapon in its form of a laser shooting fusion rifle or you can run around using it like a sidearm. Other perks include extended barrel which increases the range decreases handling speed, and moderately controls the recoil. It comes with Projection Fuse, which is a fusion rifle perk, so this one increases the range of those laser shots. And finally, Combat Grip, which greatly controls recoil. The thing I like about these perks is that a lot of them are oriented around either refilling the magazine, dealing out extra damage that's going to stun, and giving extra stability to the gun itself making it easier to handle. It is a solar weapon that does fit in your energy slot. I could see this pairing up with a lot of different weapon types and fitting into a lot of different loadouts, both in PvE and PvP. I'm especially excited to see how this actually functions in PvP. I could only imagine how well it could potentially do so by all means be prepared come January 7th when you start seeing these out in the field in Crucible. There's currently only one known ornament for the Devil's Ruin and it's called the Devil's Advocate. At this point we don't know if it's going to be available for just silver or bright dust but knowing Bungie and how much the Eververse loves to take those ornaments from the new exotics I'm sure that it will be a silver only purchase. One of the coolest things that I love about the Devil's Ruin so far is the lore attached to it. We get some insight details about three of the most famous titans that we've ever seen in Destiny 2, Lord Shax, Lord Saladin, and Saint-14. 
There's just already so much to love about The Devil's Ruin, and it's not even out yet, which is the saddest part of it all. So, Guardian, will The Devil's Ruin be on your priority list come January 7th, or will you just simply let this one go? I'd love to hear. Let me know in the comments below. I hope you've enjoyed this video. If so, be sure to hit that like button below. And if you're new to the channel, I'd love for you to hit that subscribe button. It's greatly appreciated. It helps the channel grow. Before you leave the video, I'd love for you to check out a couple links that I've got below. One is to Fanatical, a great website to be able to get a ton of great deals on video games. And as you're doing it, you're able to support the channel at the same time. There's also a link to my Discord where you can join the Profane Nation. But until next time, this has been Profane, and I wish you guys some happy hunting.